Here we go, hole 15. What a view, people. Not the hardest hole, 316 yard. All downhill, then up hill to the green. Yeah, just a beautiful looking hole. That is a, oh, it's just leaking a touch, will it go? Oh. I think he's all right. Well, I'm not going to pull the driver out, but you know, from a great strike, that I think he's probably all right. Yeah. I need to with a real good one here. I've been blocked out by three feet. I could, I could block out three feet. He's uh, one down. We want to play. We need a good one. Oh, and that's what you call crap. Yeah, I'm not being funny, but I'm trying to tee off and this fly is absolutely all over me. <laughs> Reload. Keep doing this when video's fucking rolling. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I had too many flies attacking me here. <laughs> and we're not putting enough skin off this ball. I am fuming now. See, why not this time? Straight down the middle, it's always a case. He's got a lot of work in his hands now, though. Another tee gone. That's 38 tees. Oh, I found two. So I've only lost 36 now. That first shot uh, just cost me about four quid as well with the old TP5 ball. But you know something, I'm not even going to get angry. Because it's a magical day to be playing golf. There's people in worse positions than myself that can't get out to a golf course and enjoy days like today. So do you know something, there's no point getting upset about anything. Take each day as it comes. Live it to the fullest. Don't let silly little things like playing bad golf ruin your day, your week, your month or your year. It's absolutely irrelevant in the scheme of things how well or how poor you play. Just got to embrace it. Enjoy it. It's an hobby, that's all it is. Not going to get rich, not going to get poor. Well, we might get poor with price of everything in golf. It's the most expensive sport I've ever been involved in. And I've been involved in a few play at top level in pool. It don't cost you a note in pool. It costs you 20p a frame, that is it. You might have to buy a 400 pound queue, but that queue will last you a lifetime if you want it to. But golf, it's all spend, spend, spend. I mean, going back to my football days, all you, all you needed to buy was some boots and some shin pads, that's it. You didn't need all else. One of the cheapest sports going football. I think golf needs to have a look at itself in that respect. Because it's absolutely extortionate. That's why you get a lot of snobs in golf. Definitely a higher class of people. Not myself. I'm the lowest of the low, me. I'm just a raggy lad from fucking Finska. But I fit in well wherever I go. Could be golf, pool, snooker, football. No matter what it is, I just fit in. I've got that charisma. A lot of people like a mitter, Derek Trotter. You know, good with words, gift of the gab. Not myself, but like I say, a lot of people do. Still might be in game, he hasn't blocked that. Well, he's trying to get big and nasty, nice and I still might be in game. Don't believe it for a minute. I think he's talking absolute rhubarb. At best, I can rescue a five by getting up and down. I'm not even looking for that first ball. I've got better things to do. Unfortunately, it's perfect. Yep. Like I say, better things to do to look in trees for balls. Have you seen it, Bill? Yeah. So he said it's perfect and he's not even seen it. <laughs> Could be a lost ball on his hands here, people.
how he's got his absolute position here to be fair where's your driver over here off the way and dungeon again I may as well play over this one over here put pressure on you where's your driver yeah like I said this new driver I've got Simmax 2 it's a not going as quite as fast as the old one but it's got the same power as the old one not going as quite as far as I want it to Truth be told, I've got a driver in the house, probably about 20 year old RBZ, and it puts 50 yards on this Simmax 2. And I'm actually going to go back to it because I'm losing too much distance. Might don't help the fact that I'm a, a very average golfer, that doesn't help in the slightest. I need to put this close to have any chance whatsoever. Could just stall it, I suppose, and get a, an easy par. It's like where the distance. If you're going all the shots on this golf course, this is the distance you want it from. 102 yards. A nice sand wedge. A very accessible pin. Ah, just left it out to right. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's my game done for concerning the match, people. And I can't really see any way back from this point. Not what position that is in. It's got about 70 yard, I'd say. No obstacles in his way. Lovely if it gets up. Oh, straight down like that. I think it's uh, just at front of green, I would say. He thinks he's put it straight down throat to it. <laughs> if we're on a good line, I'm, I'm thinking it might be a touch it's short. He got a decent bounce forward. We have to get a birdie or an eagle for fans. <sighs> Well, as you can see, we're walking up another hill. You get a lot of these on this golf course. It's not an easy walk. The calves still burn. He's got a good look at burning though. Very good look at burning there, I would say. And I've got a good look at a five. And I'm further away, so it's not looking very promising. But the wind is going to take over the air. Okay, one tip people, if you don't hit the ball to get to the hole, it can't go in, it's an absolute impossibility. Unfortunately, on this occasion, didn't come out on top, but it's cost him a few quid. The tractor driver is not cheap. The flies that were attacking me swing on the tee box there, they can't be bought by the dozen. You've got to buy them in your thousands. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, lads.